So when I was in the NFL, man, I, um, I, I realized that it's an extremely selfish existence. Of like, course it, any, look, to, any to, pursuit of sport at, I want to see how fucking good I can be, whether that's the Olympics, whether that's the NFL, whether it's chasing a world championship in a thing. Now there's different levels of people who give a shit about each one of those. But if you're interested in pursuing that, it's selfish. Yeah. And, and, and you have to be. Have to be. The problem, though, is if you're going to be that selfish, it's selfish to, like, go, at least the way I viewed it, right? Other people could do it. But, like, my singular focus, like, I wanted to train. I wanted to sleep. I wanted to eat. I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to feel like I had to, like, shortchange that by being married with kids and a wife. Because I see, uh, you know, uh, the secret to being married is listening to your wife and being around and doing things and being, and, and, being and, just as involved in that as you give a shit about playing football. Yeah. And being engaged, just like having kids. And what I didn't want to do is, is I didn't see a clear path to be as selfish as I wanted to do the game and be able to be married and have a family. So I my, think that's a super realistic thing to admit to yourself though. Well, yeah. I mean, so when I came in to the Eagles as a young dude, all the old guys were either divorced, <laughs> right. separated, or literally going through a divorce. It's and, like all the sales reps I know. <laughs> yeah. And, and it, it's because it's like, dude, like it's really hard to like balance it all. And I remember Runyon, uh, John Runyon, who he, he had his kids pretty young, like his son now plays in the NFL. Right. And I remember John Daniels, a little boy. And, uh, you know, Runyon's like, yeah, but, uh, you know, I'm going to be, you know, 50 years old and all my kids are going to be out of the house and me and my wife and you're, you know, this. And I was like, dude, I am such a better father today in my forties than I would be in my twenties. Oh God. I, right? like, like the, the only good thing would have been is if like I had had kids in my twenties and my son wanted to go play in the NFL, I could be like, meet me outside in 10 and I'm going to fucking whoop your ass. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like that would be, so I, uh, I went out and, uh, you probably uh, got another 10 years. You could still beat uh, up on him. Dude, I still think I could go out and do this job. You think you can still, yeah, still get I on the field? I still fucking do. Like, I'll tell you what, what made me retire. They kind of have an arena team around here, John, that you can pick up on yourself. the weekends. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, <laughs> there is, um, uh, like, this is kind of weird, but, like, after you play on the biggest stage, like, I can't imagine having a fucking rock show and then go play in a local a bar. A fucking course not. Yeah. Like, like I mean, a shit. A fucking like, course like not. Like, somebody's going to invite you to go to some, like, you're like, no, dude. I, I did this on the highest level. Right. The, the number of questions I still get, like, now that I'm, I'm moving a little bit better and stuff oh, like that. Are you going to you gonna throw again? I'm like, for fucking what? Yeah. I'll never be better than I was. Yeah. And, and I'm, that's cool. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. 